Greetings, in this video we'll be setting up the Cloudflare Zero Trust configuration and we'll be using the Warp application, which can be used on Windows, Mac, Android, uh, iOS, or whatever your platform of, of choice is. Uh, so what we've got here is we've logged in to the Cloudflare site and we are going through the onboarding process. Uh, we need to choose a name for our team, which is the approach that we're taking to get this configured. And this can be whatever you, uh, your preference is. Uh, pick something you'll remember. Uh, needs to be unique. Uh, go ahead and click through Next. For most of these things, we're going to pick the zero cost plan. Uh, no payment method required. Just go ahead and click through. All right. Now we will start doing the configuration, which is not terribly involved, to be honest. Very straightforward. Uh, we will add a group, and this was this is going to be our default group. Uh, so again, pick a name, uh, something that you'll remember, something that might mean something to you, family, work, uh, business name, what have you. Uh, so put that in. Click the set as default button there. You have a couple of options as far as the group configuration. Uh, the two that we're looking at at the very top here are emails, which would be a specific list of emails. You can also do an entire domain uh, at mycompany.com, whatever, whatever you want to put in for that. Uh, and there's some other methods as well that are more geared towards a, a corporate environment, uh, more structured IT environment, uh, but we're not going to be using those here. Uh, we've got our group set up. Good to go there. Uh, nothing under users at this point. So our next step, settings, work client is where we're headed to next. And we need to set up uh, a management role. Uh, again, Pick a, a name that you're comfortable with. Default seems like a good one. And for the inclusion option here, again, for this demonstration, just using a, a, a single email. And this is what you're going to put in when you uh, do the actual authentication on the Warp client. And you will get a, a one-time passcode uh, to that email that you will need to enter. And we'll see that in just a just a couple of minutes here. And I, as you saw there, the one-time passcode is how we're configuring. So there are other options. If you have access to other authentication uh, methods, feel free to choose those. If if that's up your alley, keeping it simple, the the code is certainly the easiest way to do it and the quickest for uh, for the average user. We're on a Windows VM right now. We're putting in our team name that we entered when we configured the system. This is the app that was downloaded from the uh, from the Cloudflare site, from the, the Microsoft Store in this case, but you can download it from uh, the Android Store, what have you. Put in the email address that you entered before. You'll get a code in the email. Copy paste that in and you're pretty much good to go. Um, this, If this helped you out, I uh, would appreciate a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for future videos. If you have any comments, please drop those down below. Uh, I'd like to hear what you, you thought of this. If uh, there were some things I, I messed up, let me know. I'd be happy to relook at that. Uh, if there are some additional videos you'd like to see, let me know that too, and I'll take a look, and uh, if it's something I can handle, I'll see what I can do. We'll get some, uh, some additional content up for you. Uh, here we're just looking at the preferences under the uh, icon. Everything looks good, and you are pretty much good to go. Uh, again, hope this helped you out.